name is Kelly Conlin. I'm a fourth year computational engineering student from the Woodlands, Texas, and I use the pronouns she, her, hers. Coming out of high school, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I think like a lot of high school seniors, and I was picking between um, English and computer science, which I love both of those, and I thought computer science, that seems like it might open more doors for me. Um, so I wanted to do computer science, but I wanted to be in the engineering school and kind of have that traditional engineering background. So I picked computational engineering, thinking that that was kind of what it was. Um, and since I've been here, I've learned computational engineering is a little bit more physics and math with still that sizable portion of uh, computer science. So not exactly what I expected, but th that was my reasoning picking it. And then UT Austin specifically. I picked UT Austin because I love the city of Austin. I just think it's the best city in the world. Um, and because UT has a lot of resources. I heard all the time in my high school career, you know, research is so important at UT. It's a huge research university, but I don't think I really understood what that meant until I came here and I saw the, the resources available and every professor I know is involved in research and they're all willing and excited to have you reach out and to learn about the research and to get involved. Um, and the National Science Foundation gives UT Austin a ton of grants, a lot of resources. So there's just a lot of opportunities to get involved in that. And especially with computational engineering, which is really on the brink of the industry, it's really a cutting edge major. It's important that we're able to be engaged in those things and to stay on top of them. My favorite thing about computational engineering is that you can really make it anything that you want. So yes, being a computational engineering major, you're constantly having to explain to people what computational engineering is. But the flip side of that is when you're talking to recruiters at job fairs, you're talking to people in the industry, you can sort of make it out to be whatever you want it to be. So depending on who I'm talking to, I might say, hey, I have a background in software engineering, I have a background in physics, or I have a background in math, and all those things are true, and you can kind of just apply it to whatever you want. Um, so I have friends who've gone into things like quantitative finance, I have friends who've gone into computational oncology, pretty much any industry you can think of as the world becomes more and more data intensive, we all need computational power. I worked at the Texas Advanced Computing Center after my sophomore year. I had some professors who taught from there. It's just an incredible research facility that UT has. Um, they have some of the best supercomputers in the world. So I got to work there and work with the incredible staff there and learn more about high performance computing, which is supercomputing. And then I worked this past summer with Lockheed Martin Space. So kind of leveraging that supercomputing experience I got from my first internship and through my classes to advance the frontiers of science and space. So that was really cool as well. Future students, I think that it's really important that you keep your head up and look around and see what's going on because there really is, this is such a cutting edge field that there's always new things developing. So it's important to keep researching and see what the newest advancements in the field are. Um, that way you can find something that really suits your interests.